Hello, dramas and other creatures. It's about time for me to do a follow-up on my symbol modification exercise, whereby I sent this very Zildjian 20-inch, maybe late 70s, early 80s ride, I'm not sure, but very heavy, clangy ride to a gentleman by the name of Dave Collingwood, who's one of the UK's symbol makers. There's only a couple, I believe, um, but he makes custom-made symbols. He makes um, very unique sounding symbols, I think, and um, he also modifies and repairs symbols. And I, I didn't even know that you could get a symbol modified. It didn't occur to me. Um, but this, this um, ride of mine, I've had it for many, many years. I used to like it, but it's too heavy and clangy for me. I play a lot lighter than I used to. Um, it just, I, I couldn't find a situation where I felt like I wanted to use it, and I put it on eBay. Uh, nobody was interested, uh, or some of the offers I got were silly low. It didn't, didn't seem to be any point. And so it occurred to me, why not see about getting the symbol modified? Uh, and modified it has been. Um, I've been following Dave Collingwood on Instagram for a while and saw, uh, you know, that not only does he make symbols, but he modifies them. So I thought I'd get in touch with Dave and, and see what we could do. And it turns out that, um, yes, that was a service he could offer. And if you haven't seen my original video where I talk about this symbol a little bit and uh, demonstrate it in its original uh, state, have a, have a look there. I'll put a link in the uh, description so you can check it out. And uh, now I've got the symbol back. So I thought I'll give you a little bit of insight into the process, just in case you have a symbol and you think about getting it modified. Um, certainly as far as the experience with, with Dave went, this is what happened. Um, and I, I spoke to Dave, I described the symbol, and he seemed to be familiar with the, the circumstances of my symbol, which was, it, it didn't really breathe. It was, it was kind of clangy, it had a nice stick definition, but there, were, there wasn't any sense of sort of wash or air to the thing. And um, so that's, that's the element that we wanted to introduce. When you crash the thing, it's just too heavy. It felt dense and it felt like the metal wasn't sort of opening up and moving around. And uh, so, it, you know, it's been changed. I sent it off. I had a bit of a chat with Dave about it and sent it off. And um, here's what happened. Basically, let's see if this, I don't know, you can see, uh, you can see, I don't know, I don't know how that's going to work with the lights. The, t the top of the symbol is kind of um, qu quite well patterned, you know, and if, if there's two types of people in the world and uh, one of them is a some sort of disturbed person who likes cleaning symbols, uh, I am the other. So I don't clean my symbols, but underneath it's nice and shiny. And, oh, I think you can just about make out how shiny that is compared to the top. I don't know. You've got all these lights and the sunlight coming in, but... Anyway, it's nice and shiny, and I almost felt tempted to um, to polish the top, but I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Now, what happened with the symbol? Sent it off to Bristol, and the way Dave works is he lays a little bit off. Again, after, like I say, we had a discussion about what I, I would have liked to improve about it. He lays a little bit off. So when the symbol arrived in Bristol, uh, the original sound of the symbol... Uh, the original weight of the symbol, sorry, was 2,457 grams, right? Which I think is, is reasonably heavy for a 20-inch uh, ride. I'm not an expert on the subject. Now, a little bit of metal was laid off the bottom, and then Dave, well, Dave originally sent me a video, sorry, of the symbol in its original state and, and the original weight, which I'll show you now. And then he laid the little bit off the symbol and sent me a, another video. And uh, it didn't make a huge difference, the first lathing. And it was only a little bit. Uh, it went down to 2,396 grams, which is just 61 grams off, which doesn't sound like all that much to me. Um, but he sent me another video and I got to, to listen to that.
Then I came back to Dave and said, no, let's, let's take a little bit more off. And he then brought the symbol down to 2,320 grams, which you can listen to. That's 71 grams off. So it was starting to open up a little bit. You could tell that the, um, the pitch of the cymbal is going down as the metal is removed and the, the stick definition stayed quite clear, um, but you could hear there was a bit, bit more sort of wash and a bit more crashiness opening up to the cymbal. Then um, I, I gave Dave a call and, and, and throughout the whole process, Dave was really receptive. We had a good email exchange at each stage. And then between lathing two and lathing three, I gave him a call and just had a bit of a discuss with him about, um, you know, how far can we go with this? And in theory, we could have shaved off, well, no, not we, because I didn't have anything to do with it, did I? Or I could have instructed Dave to shave off enough metal to really change the features of the symbol. And I believe there might have been an opportunity for him to even whack the thing with a hammer and even uh, that would change the sound of the symbol more. And part of me was tempted to go that far, to transform the symbol into something completely different. And I thought that might be too much pandering to the idea of making this YouTube video of, oh, look how much my symbol's been changed. Uh, so lathing number three took off another 91 grams, brought us down to 2,229 grams, which I think still makes for a reasonably weighty ride symbol. I stopped at this point was because I thought there was still a really nice clear stick definition but with each uh, progressive um, lathing it felt like the stick definition was getting a little bit more polite and I didn't really want to to lose any of that and so we've got a symbol now that has a nice bit of ding to it the bell doesn't seem to have changed again the overall tone or the um, the pitch of the symbol has gone down a little and um, it's just, it's kind of the same symbol, but it's a much more friendly sound. The, again, it's sort of, it's starting to wobble a little bit and you can feel a bit of air in the thing. So what I'll do is um, I'll have a little bit of a play here and I'm going to hopefully, well, we'll see what happens because you'll be watching this video. So whatever I've done, but the intention is that I'm going to play a little bit and then try and edit that together uh, with the, the original bit of playing. Uh, I've got the same sticks, which is a pair of Firth 5As. I've got the same mic set up. So I'm vaguely hoping there's a useful comparison to be made here in addition to those clips uh, from Dave that I've shared on this video as well. Um, but overall, that, that's the process. It was very good. Uh, if you have a symbol and you don't know what to do with it and it's not quite doing what you want, uh, definitely consider sell sending it away to a symbol smith. Uh, as I say, I don't know if, if every symbol smith works the same as Dave Collingwood, but with Dave it was cool. He had lots of time to discuss the uh, ins and outs of, of what we could do with the symbol. Uh, and at every step of the way, it seemed like he proceeded very cautiously, just taking a little bit off at a time and sending me a clip for some feedback. What more could you want? The whole process cost me 90 quid, which is quite reasonable. Um, I don't know what effect this has on the value of the symbol, and obviously that represents a certain investment. So financially, I don't really know the meaning of the, the, the consequences of this, really, um, if you're thinking about that. But uh, what it's done is it's given me a symbol, a nice ride that I can think of using in a bunch of different circumstances. And um, prior to this, I didn't really want to use this symbol anymore. So. Uh, Without further ado, let's have a little 
Tinkle. So there you go. Does that tell us anything? I don't know. I'm very happy with what happened to the symbol. Um, the part, again, still a little bit curious whether it could have been transformed into something, into something completely different, but that's not really what I need, and that would have been just uh, overindulgence. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, great thanks to Dave Collingwood. Uh, check out his Links, I've, I've put them in the uh, description below. There's also uh, another video going up or possibly gone up already in which uh, I have a bit of a conversation with Dave about the world of symbol making and various other bits and bobs. And um, that's really that. Um, go away and play with your symbols. <laughs>